Hey guys, you're watching That Tattoo Chick. Um, I just wanted to provide a little bit of information on the holiday of Yule, since I know that some of you are new to the craft and don't really know a whole lot about it. Um, Yule actually is an ancient holiday that originated in Europe and has been adopted by many other faiths since then and kind of put their own spin onto it. But the original name for this holiday was Yule, and it was actually celebrated on December 21st, 22nd, or 23rd, depending on which day was the longest night of the year, which which night was the longest night of the year. <laughs> um, what Yule actually, what we do for Yule is it's kind of a welcoming of the sun god, uh, since the sun god has kind of been slumbering up to this point. And so what we're trying to achieve at Yule is to bring back the light and bring back the sun's warmth and welcome it back into our lives. There are two legends that are associated with the holiday of Yule. The first being that it is the rebirth of the sun god who sacrifices his life on Beltane for the good of the land. Um, this is often, this kind of tie is represented uh, by the Beltane maypole. And a piece of the maypole is actually cut and saved until this time of year and used as the traditional Yule log which is lit on the night of Yule. The other legend is that it represents the battle between the Oak King and the Holly King. The Oak King representing the warmer months of the year and the Holly King representing the colder months of the year. The Oak King has his height of power at Lunasod, which is the longest day of the year, while the Holly King is at his height of power on Yule, which is the shortest day of the year. <clears throat> and this is reenacted, this epic duel between the Oak King and the Holly King is often reenacted in a lot of pagan circles at this time of year, the same way that it is at Lunasod. So it's kind of cool. Uh, the modern day representation of the Holly King would be Santa Claus. Santa Claus actually has nothing to do with Christmas whatsoever. It's actually a, a pagan personification of the Holly King at Yule. And this is the time when he will relinquish his power and kind of go into to hiding or into a slumber until he can regain his strength enough to battle the Oak King again for control of the year. So, kind of a cool little bit of information. Something else that I think is absolutely fascinating is, is Santa Claus himself. Um, and I know that's kind of a little bit ridiculous, but Santa Claus is actually really cool whenever you think about it. Uh, he, he does represent the pagan Holly King, and the symbolism of the eight reindeer on his sleigh are actually the eight sabbats of the pagan year. And the reason that they are reindeer is because that personifies our horned god, which is Kernunos or Hearn, depending on which circles you run in. So, either or is correct. <clears throat> but that's kind of what Santa Claus represents. It was, it was just a neat little tidbit of information. Um, and he is giving his gifts um, to the world on this, time of, this, time, this night so that it will sustain people until the end of the season. So gift giving is actually, it actually goes back to another ancient pagan tradition where people would um, lay out gifts outside of their homes, um, left back for nature to kind of, you know, give thanks and to usher the sun's return. The Christmas tree is another interesting spin on a Yule tradition. Um, that was also represented in a kind of gift giving fashion in paganism. Uh, what a lot of people would do back in ancient times is decorate the trees outside their homes with various foods and, and whatnot as gifts to the animals to help sustain them through the harsh winter months. So, pretty neat. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of useful information on the internet about Yule and its origins, um, and I'm sure that uh, there will also be a lot of 
cool nifty little Yule ideas posted. I know that Charming Pixie Floor probably has something up her sleeve, and she is absolutely amazing. I love her videos. You guys should definitely check her out if you haven't already. Um, she's always got awesome ideas for the Sabbaths and the holidays, so very cool chick. She rules. But yeah, that's pretty much what I've got. Merry meet, merry part, until we merry meet again. Blessed be.